What's good everyone and welcome back to another Think and Rapa 2 Goodbye Despair video. Today we are gonna continue on with the whole uh Hope Shard quest we have going on. And today we're gonna do Nekumaru and Gundam. Hopefully at the end of this. Uh, we will be almost fully done with everything. Because... I'm going to do until we can like get all the days. I don't want to leave like spare days out. So, it'll take four days to get four of Gundam Shards, four days to get Nekomaru's. So I gotta do a character for two days. I'm thinking of Akane, mainly because she would be one of the last ones to do. And that would be 5-5-5, five, 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 which would complete Kazuichi, Sonya, finish Akane. Probably go like, finish Akane, then go like, Kazuichi. And, yeah, the biggest problem I know I'm going to have is the fact that you really don't get Fujihiko in the first uh, half. Well, you don't get him at all in the first uh, part of this. Yeah, you get like Byakuga, Nekamaru, Pekka, Mahiru, Ibuki, Nagito, Sonya. Yeah, you don't really get him. His icon is the one that you don't find. Unless there's like a secret that I don't know about, but I only have the Central and First Island, so I can't really do anything there. So, uh, let's go on with her Ultimate Breeder. Because... The guy is a literal mystery himself, and I'm very curious about him. You will regret speaking to me. Sure. I see. Do you not know fear? Or perhaps you're not a... Or perhaps you're a... Uh, compilla Whose emotions were stolen. Well, I have no idea what that is. Well... On the top of my head, I don't think I know it, but eh, yeah, I think I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, let's just hang out, man. I guess I should confirm for myself. Gundam continued to ask me questions that made no sense at all. Well, this will take a while to get used to. Looks like Gundam and I grew a little closer. Give him a present? Sure. Let's give him one of those rings. Uh... Huh. Now he likes sunflower seeds, mainly due to, uh, trial, like the fourth trial, cause. Yeah, the fourth trial. He was going on about seeds, and I think he would like that, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, here you go. 
Not a bad choice coming from you. I should be able to make effective use of this. If you obtain something again, come show it to me. Will there. It's better if you do not get any closer than that. An automatic barrier is generated independently of my will. That would be freaking cool, actually. It's not like I'm getting close or even playing to get close. Which reminds me, there's something I haven't asked you yet. It doesn't matter that your temporary name is Hajime Hinata. Tell me your true name, fiend. Yeah, I got no idea what that means, so, uh, yeah. What the heck is this true name thing? <laughs> <laughs> so you're not foolish enough to tell me so easily. Then tell me your hidden name. I don't have anything like that. What? Then what is your special ability? There's no way I have one of those. Hmm. <laughs> So you really are a mere human. I suppose it can't be helped. Then let me talk to you about something that even a human, a mere human can understand. Happened, sinner. Ask me anything. Oh, so I have to ask. Fiend. However, it's free for you to ask. But make sure you try not to understand. You will die. After knowing my true terror, you'll be quite a sight to see how long your sanity will last. Does he want to talk or not? Which is it? Talking to him is starting to get annoying. But he's totally rave and wing for me. Guess I have to ask something. Um, what do you do with your free time usually? So you're interested in my lifestyle. Fine then. I so shall reveal a portion of that to you. Training. Human hunting. Craft spell components. Etc. Despite my looks, I'm quite the busybody. Uh huh. He's the ultimate breeder. So, I guess all these stuff are related to breeding. In some way or form. I guess it's sometimes taming the animals or training them. As I guess the training part. Human hunting, I guess, looking and seeing all of these different animals and what they can do. Crafting spell components, I guess that would be meals that they would enjoy. I don't know if I'm correct on this thought process, but... But go ahead and tell me if I'm right or wrong in the comment section down below, because that's my thought process on this whole thing he's saying. However, managing my website takes up the bulk of my time. He has a website? Huh? I shall engulf this world. Obviously, sorcerers around the world are waiting to see my research results. Oh, 
Oh, so it's a breeding thing. Research about breeding, about how animals behave, their actions, and such like that. I see. That's a bit interesting. Of course, my website has been magically enhanced, so only the chosen ones can see it. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I totally understand what you're saying, man. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> A mere human like you will only be able to access the dummy site called Exciting Breeding Journal. Ah, uh, So I am right. His thing is about research and how animals behave and all that. Guess he would be quite famous and popular considering he's the ultimate breeder. Hmm. I'd rather check out the ultimate breeder's exciting breeding journal anyway. Fine. Then I will make sure to show you. Well, if we ever get out of here, that is. What do you yearn for? Well, are there any other questions? What's your favorite food? Fine. Hmm. You certainly hit the mark well. I'm fond of the orange melon which bears the face of the... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! That's, uh... You're talking about blood oranges. Right? Oh, pumpkins. Um, are you talking about a pumpkin? Huh. Dang it, I thought I had and thought I was going on a roll here. <sighs> but apparently it's a pumpkin. <laughs> More importantly, its seeds are most effective. Food source for my four dark devas of destruction. However, you must carefully wash them, dry them, in the sunlight, peel off the thin skin, and lightly fry them. Really? You gotta do all that just to make pumpkin seeds edible? Hmm. Sounds a lot harder than I thought. I see. It sounds pretty difficult. Is there anything in this world that isn't difficult? No. That's actually a fair point. Nothing in this world's easy. Just takes time and preparation and all that just to make it look easy. Pleasure and pain are rather irrelevant, as long as you have a purpose and take action for that sake. You're right. That's exactly right. Gundam is hard to understand sometimes, but... I do understand the intent behind his words. Somehow, even though it's only a little, I feel like I'm starting to get to know Gundam better.
After showing, showering Gundam with questions until he was satisfied, he finally let me go. Hmm. Seems pretty simple. Guess we'll talk to Gundam again. Okay, I think I know where he is. Of course he is. Stay back. Yeah. Let me tell you this. I'm warning you. If you are on out of line, it will be the end for you. <laughs> so you say. <laughs> However, my interest is beat. Fine, then I shall give you my precious time. Cool. I spent time with Gundam today, listening to him enthusiastically talk about his animals. Okay. That has to be interesting. Whoa, what happened there? Looks like Gundam and I grew a little closer today. Give him a present? Sure. I'm sorry to think that he does have uh, amazing powers, considering he just literally disappeared from the screen. <laughs> Not a bad choice coming from you. I should be able to effectively use this. Okay. Hold it. If you cherish your life, it be be it's better if... Don't come any closer. So he says again. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. Uh huh. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. Just as I thought. You know nothing. Eh. Guess not, considering the fact that I'm not the ultimate breeder, so. Just saying. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, even their own children. Kind of questioning you there, man. I mean, I don't see how they can do that, but maybe if you first got them, then I can kind of see it, but. That's a bit of a stretch. Their territory is fright. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Fall, my tears. Today started when Sun D got greedy and approached John. P's territory. Oh. Oh, to each other. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought you meant, like, 
Uh, never mind. Seems like I misunderstood. Jumpy was not the sign, and his foot stepped onto my Maga C's territory. Then Magna Z got angry and leashed his anger onto Chompy. I was able to quell their anger by sacrificing my left hand, but it may not be easy next time. I uh, I see. That's quite troubling. Hmm. Could that be the reason why Gundam's hand is always wrapped in bandage in that bandage? Let me ask. By the way, do you know which species of my four dark devas of destruction has the largest body? Uh let's see. He has four Hamsters, uh, I think it's the Golden Hamster? No, wait, it was a Tannish Brown, but... But, uh... Uh, wait, no. Wait, was it? The, is that the cool answer? Yeah, that, that, that one, yeah. That was close. Yes, those fearsome demon beasts boast their large size, among other whole hamster species. Okay. However, they are also the most docile. They are known for being the smartest, too. Really? Hmm. Kinda curious. Other tribes feel no fear, thus they Give it their all when biting and ripping what stands before them. But only Goldens know fear. Thus, they usually do not bear their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? This too must be the will of causality. That's why you must pay attention to their stress levels. When you're breeding them. Hmm. I certainly didn't know that. Nature, the collective will of the world. However, that is isn't the only feature of Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fair color, quality, and patterns. You can even say they have unlimited combinations. After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. I fear some demon beast with sparkling silver fur, a hybrid creature with dominant spark spots and bands. Oh, of me. <laughs> but now all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. You were probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make history. There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all around the world. I have already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demon beast. 
They know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct and conduct no atrocious dis experiments. Beyond that, I've already made arrangements to leave my demon beast to those I trust. He's crazy prepared. Listening to Gundam make me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. You will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a place to sleep. Such luxuries mean everything to creatures who live only... who only live 1,095 days after they're born. Three, three hundred and sixty-five days in a year. Um, let's see. Oh, that that's uh three years and something days left. Let's see. If I have to do that, here are the number one thousand. 1,086 days. So after that, there's nine days left. So, wow. Remember Will. Huh, I did not think hamsters could live for three years and nine days. That's something new I learned today. After saying that, Gundam walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse in of the deep affection Gundam feels towards animals, not just hamsters. After seeing Gundam wallow in sadness, I left the area. Who's there? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's... Holy... Cow, this looks cool. Wow, I haven't seen one of these in like years. I came to one of my distant cousins. Holy cow. I forgot how cool one of these looks. Oh, this one's even cooler than the one I saw. Nice. This too must be the will of causality. It's been ages since I had attended a banquet. Really? The last time I was at such a party was shortly before I departed the Netherworld. What should I do? Can I even hang out with something? <laughs> We fang went out with him like two times already. I don't see any problem with him, he seems pretty cool. Hm. So, I've piqued your curiosity. I shall tell you a little story as a perfect way to kill time. I was forced to hear Gundam's story about a parallel universe that I swear he's already told- he already told me about told me before. Looks like Gundam and I grew a little closer today. Do you want present? Sure. Now, what could I give him? Uh, let's see. He should have saved the frog for him. Uh... Yeah, I think he would like this. Cause, uh... I think he's into something like this. It's unique, it's strange, it has its own charm to it. I don't see why he couldn't... Why he would dislike it. Hmm... 
Yeah, you know what? Go ahead. I'll give it to uh, him. <laughs> I see you're holding quite an interesting item. There. Uh, all I got left is sunflower seeds. That item must be beyond your power. You can trust it into my care for free. Don't get any closer. I, I already know what. Thinking. What do you know that even I don't know? <laughs> so you have now then, summon your familiar. No, I don't have anything like that. You fiend. You've come challenging me many times. I thought you finally attained at least one familiar. <laughs> Just as I thought. You are a mere human, and a strange one at that. Eh, didn't disagree with you. I mean, after everything I've learned and experienced through Thinking Rampa 2, technically, as Hajime, we're the strangest one. Considering what? <laughs> who we are outside, and considering the fact that. We're technically the ultimate, ultimate. That's things to go by, but... Eh, I think I can see him and Gundam hanging out. Despite what he's saying, Gundam doesn't seem all that annoyed. Is he opening up to me a little? However, you probably don't understand how pointless this place is for Demon Beast tam Tamer. Sorry, the cord was a bit tangled up, but yeah. Now for this. You're saying... It's not the best place. I mean, the supermarket has a ton of place, a ton of things. Surely there's something good for the Fort Dark Davis, right? I know you mentioned that. Even though we're, our, though this is a tropical island, I don't see any wild animals. Fine. If this place really was a normal tropical island, I wouldn't have time to talk to you so freely. Many beasts inhabit the thick forest. There may even be rare species that only exist on this island. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me tingle. Wow, he's smiling right now. Ah, I seem to recall seeing a cow at the ranch. Tell you this. I'm not interested in some domesticated animal. I have a feeling you say that. Fall, my tears. After all, I cannot look at it without feeling pity. Huh? That's been unexpected. Such creatures are born to be eaten by humans. Even if I had it, the all-seeing eye, I couldn't change that fate. Thus, I try not to involve myself with livestock. It would bring calamity onto my mind, after all. Gundam understands the feelings of animals, so this must be a complicated subject for him. Body is hmm. I appear to be getting oddly sentimental since I haven't encountered any new demon beast. I've tamed various creatures such as Cerberus, the Phoenix, even the Midgar Serpent. Okay, so dogs, uh, snakes, and different types of birds, if I'm correct. Mm, we can technically go with reptiles, but yeah. Probably means dogs, birds, and lizards, but I'm still thinking it's reptiles. 
When you say tamed, what exactly does that entail? <laughs> I guess it's fine to tell a mere human. I don't believe that you'll get in my way. Well. Basically, you must say, good girl, good girl. Huh. You must repeatedly speak to them and make sure they understand that there is no ill will on our end. In order to do that, you need to appear innocent. Sounds tough. This too must be the will of causality. Of course, there are some who like to be touched, and some that don't. It's better if you keep these basics down. It appears you cannot escape. Afterward, as long as you spend a long time together, you'll eventually start to hear your partner's words. I'm pretty sure that only happens to ultimate breeders. The Gundam seems to sh seems different from usual when he talks about animals. Somehow his face seems gent. He must really love animals. Now then, I wonder if there are evil demon beasts that will rile me up on this island somewhere. Monokuma and Monami are sort of shaped like animals. I renounce you. They are no good. Anything that can talk will eventually betray you. And most importantly, they aren't cute. I agree. <laughs> but I don't plan to betray you at all. <laughs> Such exaggerations coming from a mere human like you. However, that's a nice line. Gundam left the area with a different smile on his face than usual. I hope we'll be able to understand each other. Even if it's just a little bit at a time. After seeing Gum Dum walk away, I left the area. Let's see. He's most likely... Yep. You seem to understand which master he must follow. However, to become the supreme overlord of ice like me, you must train their soul in a much higher dimension. Yeah, we're gonna hang out with Gundam. I see. So you are resolved to relinquish your soul. Cool. While Gundam performed a strange ritual, he regularly whispered to me about the kindness of animals. Looks like Gundam and I grew a little closer today. Yep. Now, what to give him? I could give him the seeds. Hmm, let's see what else we have, just in case. No, I want to save that for last to see it. You lift wings. Mm. Toy camera. Who would want a toy camera? Let's see, let's see, Coastone, a timely radio, no, no, Bojo dolls, no, no, dip pen, huh. Hmm. 
Replica sword. No. Guess I have no choice but to give him the seeds, because I have no idea on anything else. Yeah, let's give him the seeds. Surely, I never expected your human, such as you, to possess, possess such a legendary treasure. Regardless, you will not be able to control it. It was wise of you to hand it over to me. I will gladly use it. Hold it! If you come any closer, I know, I know. I won't get any. I won't get closer to you. This too must be the will of causality. It appears that you finally notice. The blood that flows within me bears a fearsome curse. Of course it does. Ever since I was young, this body of mine was exposed to so many poisons that becomes that became poisonous itself. If a mere human like you ever touch me, you will immediately decompose and wither away. Thus, I've been trying to make sure you don't get too close to me. Does that mean you've been thinking of me? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. Even if you're just a foolish human, I'm not too so cruel as to yearn for a meaningless death. <laughs> Can I assume that he's blushing? But he said, says... His blood is poison. What would be the advantage of that? It's not an issue of gains and loss. I became like this because I had to. I've been... I have to be like this. Even if I don't want to be. I've been putting poison in my body since I was young. It sounds somewhat plausible. Okay, it's not poison. Because it sounds like he doesn't didn't have a choice in the matter. He's obviously not thinking of poisoning someone, otherwise he would have been would have killed someone a lot sooner. No way that this is the answer. <laughs> Um, was your mother's cooking bad? Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. I was actually thinking I got it wrong. C crap. I was only joking, but it sounds like that was exactly it. Impossible. You wouldn't understand how much pain I had to endure. Plus that woman would tr cry if I didn't finish my plate. What choice do, did I have but to suffer in silence? Don't you feel better now that you've talked about it? I mean, you're really, you're actually a really kind guy. Anyway, now that you understand, you shouldn't come any closer to me. No day if you ever touch me, it will mean death for you. But that's really lonesome. Hey Gundam, can I ask you something? If you have the fortitude to ask me that. I didn't even say anything yet. Um, when you were in grade school, did you ever hold hands with any of the other kids? It's obvious now, but at the time, I was faking my condition. <laughs> By moving next to the teacher who served me, I was able to avoid questions and survive without any problems. Did you ever have to do a folk dance? Impossible. You don't understand. That is a ceremony for summoning an evil deity. Fortunately, the school nurse was in the, was in the same tribe as me, so I was able to leave without getting involved. I, I see. It might have been bad of me to point out something so unnecessary. I don't know what to say to him anymore. 
So then, what kind of people are you okay to get close to? You. Anyone who matches, whose power matches my own or... <laughs> no, there's no way such a being exists. You should just forget about that. For your sake. With those words, Gundam walked away. He seemed very lonely. What was he going to say? If you just told me, maybe I could have done something about it. If I had, maybe he wouldn't, wouldn't have shouted nonsense at me. After, after seeing Gundam walk away, I returned to my room. Alright, let's begin our last thing for Gundam. Looks like Gundam and I grew a little closer today. Give him a present? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna take a gamble on something, I hope it works. You are rather nice. Happy. As long as this treasure is within my grasp, I will never forget this day. Hmm? He doesn't seem like his usual self. Why do you keep following me? In truth, there's no way. I'd ever associate with someone like you. Impossible. But still... Why do you continue to hound me? Does this mean my absolute mental defenses are wearing off? I don't know what you think this is, but we're friends who are trying to work together to what? escape. What the? <laughs> he ceased up. He seized up all of a sudden. I won't let you settle down, my wicked arm. Are you a Kotodama user? You wish to manipulate me with false words and cheap tricks, don't you? I'm not trying to manipulate you at all. In fact, you're the one who said. I'm just a mere human, with no special abilities whatsoever. You wouldn't understand. I'm in isolation isolation for a reason. There will never be a day when you understand why I became who I am. I'll destroy you! I'm the one. I'm the offspring of an angel and a devil curse being shunned and rejected by everything in this world. Once I lose the only thing I love, I'm destined to spend my last days being devoured alive by demon beasts. My name is Gundam Tanaka. He sounds like his normal self, but there's definitely something different about him. There might be a kernel of truth in him within the words he spoke. It's true, I don't know anything about what drove you to this point. But I definitely believe that you're my friend. If I didn't think that, I wouldn't be able to go on. That's it. That's the only reason. As long as you're my friend, I have no desire to take anything away from you and try to force you to change. This too must be the will of causality. It seems that I completely misread you. I've never expected a human like you to contain a singularity. Hmm? Have I been promoted from a mere human? You asked me the other day what sort of existence would be capable of touching me. So you have the answer to that is singularity. A being who can make the impossible possible. 
by overcoming various limitations. Huh. Am I really that amazing? <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. A simple creature like you does not have that much power. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. However, I can lend you my powers, as long as you yearn for them. Then I'll leave this to you. What? For you to say that so easily. Fine. Well, who cares? Lend me your hand. I stuck out my hand, like he told me to. And after some hesitation, Gundam slowly gripped my hand. His hand felt like a normal person's hand. And I definitely didn't wither away and die. This, the contract is complete. I will not allow you to die without my permission. I really want to say that to him too, but he'll definitely yell at me if I do. Instead, I gripped Gundam's head, hand so tightly that I started hurting. <laughs> <laughs> it somehow became a battle of endurance, but I felt a strong bond between Gundam and me. Which reminds me. It's been a long time since I felt so happy being acknowledged by someone. What? Huh? The fuck was... Huh? Okay... The heck was that? What? The fuck? You mean to tell me I... <laughs> okay. You know what? Mm. Sure, why not? It fucking works all the way. Okay. There's the man himself. The legend. Ekumaru and I. What happened? Do you have some business with me? Which I do. It must be destiny that we met here. Let's get better acquainted. I spent time today talking to Me Nekumaru about various things. Looks like Nekumaru and I grew a little closer. Give him a present? Yeah. Oh. It's something chosen for me? What would you think I would accept that? I'll take good care of it, and treat it like it's you. And hey, Nakamaru, there's something I've been wondering about ever since we first met. Hmm? You've been thinking about it that much? I see, then I guess I must accept- Come on! Bring it on! D don't misunderstand. Hey, why are you walking towards me? Didn't you just yell, tell me to come to you? What? I was about to offer to do it to you. What's it? So I wanna know- wait, I definitely don't want to find out. Then. Fine then. So what were you going to talk about? Yeah, I wanna ask you. Why you're a team manager? Just? Are you marketing the management profession? No, I didn't mean like that. Ajme, you don't know anything. All roads lead to managers. 
If you yearn to master something, you will naturally require a manager's help. Countless records in this world would not exist without managers. The bond between the top Hotch athlete and their manager is one that cannot be severed. Fine. Until now, I've been with various athletes. Yeah, looking back, they were all splendid athletes. I had a baseball player who got an offer to join the major leagues while he was still in middle school. A figure skater who performed six and a half spins. And a tennis player. Who managed to win a 36? Oh my gosh. Oh. Now that's cool. 36 hours in for one whole match? Jeez. Those are legends. They were all people who surpassed me. Do, do people like that really exist? Jeez. Now that you understand, don't mock managers. As long as you never do that, I'll lead you to victory, no matter what. I'm not much of a sports guy anyway, but more importantly, he's got a lot of confidence. And I can understand how proud he must be to be a team manager. Just as I thought, Nekomaru is an amazing guy. Hmm? Did you just praise me in your heart? Huh? <laughs> how do you know? When you and I face each other like this, we are one in both body and mind. I can easily see what you're thinking. One in body and mind? I really don't want that. <laughs> hey, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm used to being shouted with praise. I'm so popular, there are teams all over the place fighting over me. That's crazy so many ways, but there's no denying that he's an amazing guy. I feel like I got to know Nekomaru a little better. After listening to Nekomaru talk about his heroic escapades for a while, I went back to my cottage. Listen up. The secret to being healthy is a good appetite, a good night's sleep, and a good sh How do you... Never mind, I'm not gonna ask how he goes to the bathroom. Because <laughs> I feel like if I ask, I'm going to regret it. <laughs> oh, this is quite an item. I'll definitely return the favor to your body. Nekumaru is staring at me and groaning. I don't know how to say it, but the way he's looking at me is making me extremely uncomfortable. What? Uh, phrasing? <laughs> ah, just made let me your body. Phrasing, dude. Whoa! Hey, wait, wait, wait! What? Nakamar fell all over my body before I quickly broke free. What the heck? What's going on? Mm, just as I thought, I wasn't wrong. You will become an amazing athlete if you train yourself. I don't think I need... I don't think that's needed anymore. I mean... If you were still in the reserve course, then maybe... But now that... After the whole Azuru Kamakura incident... I think he technically is the ultimate athlete? Or am I wrong?
Hajime literally became a, a freaking Desuex EX machine. Uh, breaking limitations and all that. Huh? You must have been born with good bone structure. We'll need to change your diet, bulk up your muscle mass. W wait, hold on, what are you talking about? You're calling me an athlete, but what are you talking about? I'm talking about you, obviously. Huh. I'm a manager, you know. It's my job to help athletes figure out what they want to become. I don't mind which athlete you want to become, but it's wrong for me to decide that for you. But I don't know he decides. He's treating me like an athlete for some reason. But it doesn't matter at all? Then... Let's see, for example, how about this? Using your entire body to fight over a ball, a sport that is truly the manliest of, of men's sports. Didn't really want to think about it, but though... Hmm... Fighting over a ball... I like to say soccer? Hmm... Yeah, soccer. Because you're technically fighting over a ball. Actually, what's rugby? I feel like that would be the case. Rug... B. Rugby... Oh! Is it rugby? Is it rugby? I just looked it up. It says rugby union. Rugby union commonly known as a rugby is a close contact team sport that originated at a rugby school in the first half of the 19th century. One of the two codes of rugby football is based on, on running with the ball in hand. So I guess technically it's football? But different? I don't know, I never heard of rugby before. It looks like it. Hmm. This is the first time I've ever heard of rugby. From the way I'm seeing from images right now, it looks like... Football? Is rugby football? So what I mean is... Rugby was originally a religious service in the Shinoto religion. Really? Huh. Oh. The men would fight over a bundle of rice plant ears in hopes of a rich harvest. It's a holy sports said to have originated when the first bead of sweat fell into the first rice seed. According to Spike Book, that is. No way. I don't know anything about rugby. I've never even seen a match before. A match in, my, in the first place. That doesn't matter at all. Your calm judgment skills, your high degree of mobility, and you obviously know the importance of teamwork. You may very well be a natural on the rugby field. Aren't you overestimating me a little bit? Ha! <laughs> My eyes never deceive. Even if you might be. If you're ever interested, let me know. I'll take care of you anytime. Like Kamara walked away with a big smile on his face. Even if he compliments me, I don't think I'd be any good at rugby. Or do I really have that kind of natural ability? My heart is swayed. Is this the work of the ultimate team manager scouting skill? Honestly, I prefer soccer, in all honesty. But then again, with all the things about About back calls. Uh, I try to stay away from the competitive side and only play it for fun. Like with a few friends. Do any of you actually like uh, go around playing a sport for fun in competition?
You don't really have to answer, but I'm really curious. You can leave it down in the comment section below. Let's see. Sure. I'm seriously, every third time I go to someone, it's always in their own room. <laughs> I'm curious what Nekomaru's room looks like. This everyone has such nice rooms. Yeah, let's just... <laughs> Good go ahead, show them the power of our teamwork! I spent today with Nekomaru. Looks like Nekomaru and I grew a little closer. Let's see... I've rightly received your male spirit. If you want, I'll accept you as well. Come on, bring it on. And then, come on, I gotta be honest with you. I don't really understand, but... No worries. Everyone is like that first. You don't have to be scared. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on, lay down over there. Hold on, what are you talking about? I'm talking about it, obviously. You want me to do it to your friend? No, I wanted to ask you, what do you do as a team manager? Oh, that's what it was. You should have said so earlier. Didn't let me. So what I mean is... mm, let's see, basically. It's my job to take care of athletes so they can give it their all. The technique varies for each sport, but every top athlete needs three essential things. Physical fin fitness, visual ac acuity, and willpower. If an athlete wishes to strengthen these three essentials, then it's my job to prepare a solid and efficient training regimen for them. And a lot of the science behind the training is based off principles of sport medicine. It's a real challenge to bring out the maximum potential of each individual athlete. Hold on! What? You look surprised. No, it's nothing. You gave me such a serious answer, I don't know what to say. However, What I told you just now is simply what every manager does. <laughs> My special weapon is these fingers. What's up with your fingers? With the tips of my of these fingers, I can instantly relax tense muscles and promote maximum blood circulation. I can push out for Intranflation toxin it's like a waterfall and restore fatigue in an instant. As long as they're in my hands, each of my athletes can continue their training and competitions. That's right. Even until they die. Die. This is it. Truly, the original massage technique is my ultimate weapon. Ultimate weapon. So you're referring to it as it, in order to censor it. But isn't it dangerous to keep training when your body is exhausted? Since you're not one standing on the battlefield, it's understandable that you would think like that. For people, for some people, forfeiting is in the middle of a match is a greater loss than death. During my training, I even met a clan of warrior women in the mountains who had such federal feudal tendencies. Ugh, how nostalgic. Like you said, it may be a world that I don't really understand. But at least now, I understand how important you are to your athletes. Hey, Hajime. You know just what to say to put me in a good mood? How about I give you the super version of it right now? No thanks. Afterwards, though he kept 
getting a little too close to my personal space. I spent time with Nick Morrow for a bit. Far away from Nick Morrow and left the area. This is so weird. Why is he here of all places? <laughs> Byokuga is leading quite well. As team manager, I must support him. What should I do? Should I invite Nekamaru to hang out? Are you also interested in being a team manager? Great! Hustle! I'll teach you! Hmm. That's an interesting way to go, but okay. Nekamaru personally lectured me on the secrets of being a team manager. Looks like Nekamaru and I grew a little closer. Give him a present? Sure. Oh man, I covered a lot of ground. I did not think it would be this mass. Uh huh. <laughs> Ooh, this is quite an item. I'll definitely return the favor to, to your body. He looks like he's deep in thought. I hope he's not thinking about anything dangerous. Oh. <laughs> I decided. It might be easier to talk to you about it since you aren't an athlete. It may run a little long, but can you listen to my story? Yeah, I don't mind. I see. Do you remember what you asked me before about why I'm a team manager? At the time, I didn't know how passionate you were about it. However, a long time ago, I asked myself that very same question. Huh? To be honest, I was born with a heart defect. What? No. What? No way. What I thought. Oh, man. What kind of defect can, can be cured? I mean, we have the ultimate nurse here. I, I think she can probably help. The doctor told me I would lived to be 20 at most. Oh shit, are, are you serious? Because of that, I never got to play sports when I was growing up. I didn't even participate in PE either. I, I didn't know you went through something like that. I can't imagine that happening to you now. I was teased a lot when I was young too. My childhood consisted of being unable to make friends and frequent trips to the hospital. However, on one particular day, I was put in the same room as this boy by coincidence, and it completely changed my life. Like me, that boy had a similar illness. He made frequent trips to the hospital too, but there was one key difference between me and that between that boy and me. Someone always came to visit him. He would have fun conversations and sometimes very serious ones. From what I could overhear that boy, the boy was a team manager for a baseball team. His athletes were visiting him. Then what you said to that boy was... I asked him why he would do something like that. At the time I didn't understand it at all. I mean, he couldn't even play baseball with them. But he said this to me. Even though I can't play the 
baseball with them. I can still share their victories and defeat with them. That's what it means to be a team manager. You have a duty to support your team, especially if you can't be on the field with them. But in the end, he died in the house but without ever seeing his team win. Perhaps he worked himself too hard gathering stats for the sake of that important game. Or maybe he already knew he didn't have much time to begin with. I honestly don't know. So I decided to take all that stats he risked his life gathering for the sake of his team. My very first job as a team manager was leading that boys team to victory. After that I threw myself into various sports before I even realized it. My body has become incredibly tough. To the point where it's too tough. But even so, I'm proud of being a team manager. So that's why. But why did you decide to tell me that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really understand it myself, but maybe I just wanted to tell someone. The same way that boy taught me. As long as you have friends who have your back, you'll be able to clear a path to the future without giving up. And so, I spent time today talking to Nekamaro about various things. Gave me a lot of valuable advice from his management manager's perspective, and reminded me of how great he is. I part ways with Nekamaro and return alone. still bright out, and I've still got some time left. I don't feel like doing nothing, so maybe I should go somewhere. We got one event left with Nekamaru, and then we'll spend the last two days with Akane. Yeah. That's my plan. A bit basic, I guess, but... <laughs> you know, after doing all this, it it's a little hard to believe that we got this far. We are... almost completely done with everyone. And it's gonna be a little sad when the when I actually finish and this game goes. <laughs> hmm. What? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Nekamaru, aren't you scared? You seem very calm, even in this situation. It's like you have this unwavering presence of mind. Meaningless. Well, it's my due to support my athletes after all. There's no way a manager could be more concerned than his athletes. I see. You're amazing. I... I'm not good at all. It's... Like I'm thinking about way too many things. And the more I think about it, I still don't know what to do. Alright, I decided. Decide what? From this point on, I will be the official manager for all of you. If we win this match by working together to leave this island, 
then I'll give it my all to support each and every one of you. Nakamaru. Alright, now that's decided, let's begin the special training. No matter what basic physical fitness always comes first, in any situation you'll need muscles to survive. As long as you're armed with muscles, you won't die so easily. Armed with muscles? Is that something you can get in a single day? But I guess it's better to stay active than standing around and working all day. G got it. If that's what you intend to do, then I'll prepare myself for the worst. So, what should I start with first? Huh? Let's see. Based on your current level, run 10 laps around the first island, 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups. Well, I think I can manage to do all that. No. And after that, if you don't... <laughs> What the heck? And after you've done that 50 times, do three sets of 12 mile long distance swimming? The frick? How long is the island? Like, uh, let's see. Uh, probably. Like five, no, between five to ten miles long. No, wait, uh, six, six, I'm gonna say six wide, and six long. So you have to do two laps around the island? That's clearly impossible. It's my job to make the impossible possible. Even if, don't worry, even if you get worn out, I'll do it to any time. In fact, let's do the first, that first, to fire things up. <laughs> oh, hold on, why do I have to get naked? Don't worry about it, I just feel like it, that's all. You feel like making me get naked? Jeez, all this talking, you're so noisy. Just shut up and listen to your manager. Wait, wait, hold, whoa. Before I can do anything, Nakamura's massage has started. <laughs> I kind of understand how this might be addicting. <laughs> how is it? Feels good, right? It, it's amazing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> This, this is completely crazy. <laughs> uh, thanks to this, you now have a body that can't live without me. Uh, I, really, I don't really want to admit that. But it doesn't matter anymore. For some reason, I really feel like working out. Then, let's start the training. There's no need to worry. I'll definitely let you win this match. Come on, let's go! I endured an impossible amount of training while Nekamara offered me advice. The more I worked out, the more I noticed that something sleeping inside me was being awakened. And with that came an optimistic feeling. It's probably because of the strong bond Nekamara and I formed with each other. We will definitely escape from here. All of us. Power of life and death? Holy... I still understand the whole underwear thing. <sighs> and now we're dealing with the last five. And since I can't talk to Fihiko, and I'd rather save Kazuichi and Sonya for later, we're gonna do a con. If 
there's if it's a party, there should be a lot of good food. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it, I can't stop drooling. <laughs> what you look looking forward to it to? Do you wanna exercise before we get to eat that tasty food? I ran across the beach with Akane and wore myself out. <sighs> Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Hard to say that for sure. Give her a present. Not, not gonna be a lot of stuff to give her. I mean, I think I can probably just give her this and bam. She's not an overcomplicated person to figure out. When it comes to items to give her, that is. <sighs> I can really have this, right? right? Once I accept this, I'll never return to you. No matter what. Yo. Hey. You. Hmm? What? Um. What's your name again? It's Hajime. Hajime Hinata. <laughs> oh, right. Sort of sounds like your name. Sorry, sorry. I keep getting somehow. I'll remember it easier if you keep giving me food or something. You an animal or something? Yeah. Oh well. Later. Huh? Wait. Hold on. We only just started talking. Well, even so, I'm not interested in someone who looks like they have low fighting power. Just from looking at you, you're probably around two. I don't deal with anyone lower than trash, you know. What kind of measurement system is that? Like, why do you focus on fighting power? It doesn't matter gymnastics, right? Huh? Gymnastics? What are you talking about? I mean, you're the ultimate gymnast, right? <laughs> Oh, that! Saying records and winning competition is easy money. Money? You're just doing it for money? What? Yeah, that's right. Huh. Well, this is the most simplest conversation I just had. Everyone was just being vague and passionate about other stuff, and she's very blunt on the questions and subjects that are brought up. That's different. Everything was fake, but I'm just getting a solid answer right off the bat. <laughs> okay. It, I, that might have sound repetitive, but <laughs> it's shocking. Everyone was, everyone gives a subject or topic about something else, like hobbies, common interests, things they like, things they don't like, and all this and all that. But we go straight into her, the talent, and well, usually there's like this whole story to it, and yet she's blunt about why she became a gymnast. It's... it's crazy. I've been doing it since... It since this really persistent old man convinced me to give it a try. I've been running and jumping all over the place ever since I was a kid. You know, it's... uh... what's it called again? That thing where you run non-stop through a bunch of clutter areas? Is it kind of talking about that? It's when you keep running as... You jump to run obstacles. Parkour. Is that parkour? I got it. Ah, that's it. That's exactly it. That's what the old man called it too. Well, it doesn't matter what it's called. When you got people chasing you, you just naturally end up doing parkour when you're running away from them. You should try chasing me around. Chasing me sometimes. I seriously won't get caught. What kind of situation do you get into where you need to do parkour in the middle of the city? 
She's pretty crazy. I'm jealous how how cheerful she is. That was really simple. After continuing my mostly one-sided conversation with Akane, I left the area. Huh. There's still some time left. I feel restless. Maybe I should go for a walk. Huh. This... is quite surprising, to be honest. This island's full of mysteries. Yeah. There might be a tower that reaches the heavens, or a strong dude sealed up in an electric jar. Can't really say about the second one, but maybe the first half, considering Hope Speak, the the ruins that looks like Hope Speak Academy, and uh, maybe the fun house, considering that's building on top of another and six stories tall. Maybe. All right. <sighs> Doesn't matter. What? It is. Let's go find it. They say the world is full of treasure. Not exactly wrong, I guess. I spent time today getting dragged around by Akane while, ser while we searched for treasure. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Okay. You look pretty bummed. Are you even eating, um, Hank? My name is Hajime. You only got the H right. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? <laughs> is it obvious? There's yummy food, soft blankets, my room doesn't leak when it rains. This place is way better than where I grew up. S seriously? Even in this kind of situation? Uh Hmm, you know how it is? It's not that strange to find a dead body at the dump in the morning. Where are you from? A uh, trash place where crappy people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. How can you say that like it's no big deal? What kind of environment was she raised in? Anyway... Since we never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. I even sold my used uh, underwear to these. Uh, yeah. By the time I was able to legally work, part time, I didn't have to run away anymore. So when you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. But that probably just laid the foundation for being a gymnast. What kind of part-time job did you do? I'll bet you probably did stuff like manual labor. Huh. Um, well, I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriends always push me into doing more jobs. Huh? Like. At first, one of them told me all I needed to do was serve food. But I never expected he'll keep tell me to do it like that. I'm pretty sure Connie's talking about being a waitress, but what kind of waitress? Cosplay? Did he make you do cosplay? Um. No, that's okay. Roller skater? I see. Okay, so. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What? Hmm? What happened? Uh, well... Well, anyway, I didn't know what to do. I mean, you told me to do it without me. Uh, yeah, no. 
That doesn't make sense, right? There's no way I could do something like that. Uh, of course. <laughs> right? That would definitely make your stomach cold. That's not the issue. You. What? Man, you're annoying. Talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. Alright, guess it's time for me to have my fourth meal. After she said that, Connie walked away in a hurry. What, what kind of past does she have? Okay, now I'm concerned for her. Now? <laughs> Let's see, people I'm concerned with. Mikan, Akane. I'm actually a bit concerned for Sonya. Gundam. Kazuichi. Nekamaru now. Uh. Wow, that list just keeps growing. I parted ways with Akane and decided to leave the area for now. Well, that was an interesting conversation. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button to support the channel, support the content for and so on and so forth. I'm gonna have to do my research to find out about the whole Fuihiko thing. Cause he wasn't very out there in chapter one. And I don't think he was anywhere around during chapter two. Chapter three was a big freaking mess. So I can't really say that uh I, uh... Can do that. My best bet in believing to get food to uh, have a conversation with Fuiko is in Chapter 4. But that's, uh, really it. But uh, next time I'll work on completing Nagato, uh, Akane, Sonia, Fuhiko, and Kazuichi. <laughs> We're almost done. We almost got everyone. We're at, our We're at the home stretch. And with how Akane's being very blunt with her conversations, this is just going to get a little faster. And with one conversation for both Sonya and Kazuichi, I think we're going to be okay. Though I... Though going to Chapter 4 is going to be interesting. Considering that is very time consuming. Oh well, I guess we're gonna have to figure that out in a bit. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Uh, as I said before, and all that good stuff. I, I only repeat myself, you already know. <laughs> Just hit the subscribe button if it's still red, turn it gray to show your support and all that. And yeah, with all this said, Hope you'll enjoy, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!